Can you um, tell us, um, I want to get to who I'm calling suspect number one. So far, there are, I believe, three suspects that America knows about, four that America is probably going to begin to know about, and um, and possibly more. But suspect number one is the guy that everybody saw first, which they said he was a uh, suspect in the case. He was the Saudi Arabian guy that was in the hospital. Suspect number two, uh, and this is the way I am counting them, suspect number two is the brother that was killed early this morning in Boston. Suspect number three is the one that we're getting mixed reports on. Um, I see only one report that is saying that he blew himself up, but I don't think that's true um, because none of the TV uh, none none of the TV stations are reporting that he has blown himself up. <laughs> but then again, I don't believe anybody on TV anymore. Uh, and then there's this fourth suspect in um, that we're just hearing about in Silver Springs, Maryland. Can you bring us up to speed on um, first? Suspect two and three that you that you, anything that you do know the twenty two videos they're from Chechnya. Can you give us any kind of background on any part of this at all? Yeah, they came here. Uh, at least one of them came here ten years ago. The fam- there's a larger family. There are nine family members living in the same apartment complex uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where the the the, the one brother was uh, was uh, was killed. Uh, in the apartment, they found more explosives and radical Islamic literature. Nine other members of the family live in that same building. They came here under asylum, as did the two brothers. That's because of immigration policy that allows anyone whose family members come under asylum. Other members are allowed to come into the country also under asylum without any background checks. Number two is the fact that... Um, they they had not released the literature, but the fact that they found more explosives mean suggests that they were planning on carrying out more attacks. Um, three, the literature I have not seen it. It was only described to me as radical Islamic literature. And now looking at some of these videos, which are incendiary, like Al Qaeda videos, on the on the channel uh, on the on the uh, one of the uh, uh, web pages face uh, created by one of the brothers, uh, it proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that they were not just Chechen terrorists, they were Islamic terrorists that believed in the imposition of a caliphate just like al-Qaeda. These, oh boy, don't bring up the caliphate, Steve. You'll be nuts. Uh, you'll be nuts again. Um, <laughs> Unless I convert. Yeah, I know. This is, this is so... I have never... I've never, with what I know about... And I, Steve, I know you know everything. Um, most likely we haven't spoken, but I know you and I probably know exactly the same... Uh, stuff about who I'm deeming suspect number one in Saudi Arabia, but I don't want to get into deeply into who this guy is um, yet. Um, but I, uh, I, when I found when I found out yesterday who that guy is and what we have on him and how our media was rooting for an American to be the killer uh, and how our president, this administration, the Department of Homeland Security, and everything else, how they have covered this up how they have aided and abetted this guy is um obscene and i i it's it's criminal it is out of control and when america knows the full story on this if she doesn't stand up and quite honestly i think demand impeachment and um uh and the f- mass firing if not shutting down of of agencies we don't stand a chance do you think I'm overstating this? No, I think you've stated it perfectly well. I mean, articulated exactly the way it has to be stated. I, um... 